I got goosebumps right now, Nick. I won't even lie. It was seven weeks. We made it here. Oh, this is what Madden is all about. This is what competitive Madden is all about. The biggest tournament in Madden history. The biggest prize pool in Madden history. Oh, my goodness. I'm just so excited, Nick. Well, we got ice on offense first. And he's got some he's got some support out there. Ashton Davis saying, you got this, Ice. Gillette and I are wishing you luck. Repping the Jets in the club championship. Every day is game day. Hashtag Gillette partner. Big shout out to Ashton. Davis. TD, that's my favorite part about this tournament is when the NFL players get involved and, and get invested in these players representing their teams. Yeah, it's the coolest thing. Ashton Davis, he's he's a stud in man too. Got so much speed. You love to see when the NFL players start to support the competitive players. It's awesome. Rich Gannon at the helm for ice. He'll toss it underneath. There's that number 21. Primetime Deion Sanders losing two on the play. Prodigy showed off that defense early. And we talked about it. That's his mutt player to watch. And first play, he goes right to him just on a little drag route. And now with that playmaker ability, he can kind of move him up the field if he wanted to when he's on a drag. You see Ice is in the Detroit Lions offensive playbook. So, Nick, we've kind of seen a little bit of a meta change. If you're a gun bunch player, it kind of went from Carolina playbook over to Detroit and the New York Jets playbook on offense. And he's in Detroit, so I'm excited to see what he's got. Gannon underneath. Not able to hook up there with, with like Deion Sanders there. Uh, different. This is the other thing that's very interesting about coming back here after a couple of weeks, TD, is the lineups have changed a lot because of the new items that's been added to the game. Yeah, exactly. You know, we saw a lot of those Josh Allens. We saw some Culpeppers, some Brett Favre. Now it's primarily Rich Gannon. And the reason is he does have that gunslinger ability, which is probably the best ability in Madden 21. But he also has that hot route master, so he can create some other routes for his receivers. And, uh, yeah, we're going to see a lot of different guys, though. We already saw that Deion Sanders at receiver. So that's the thing. When you take a break for a couple weeks like that, all these new Mutt players were added, and all the competitive guys jumped all over him. Amazing. Terry McLaurin was on every team back in November. I can see a whole lot of Terry over these couple of weeks. Might seem snuck in there, but we're going to see plenty of 84 over there on the left side. That's Randy Moss. We'll move in motion over to the right side. Third and 12 for Ice. Screamer off the edge, but a nice throw over the middle. Tipped up, almost picked caught, it. and oh almost picked God. off. Nonetheless, it will be fourth down, and we'll see what Ice does, whether he stays aggressive or if he punts this ball away. Already a big decision time for Ice. That was a risky pass. I mean, double coverage. The ball got tipped around a little bit. Sean Taylor almost came up with a pick. Let's see what Ice is. He looks like he's going to punt. I like the play call. Um, it's early in the game. Get on defense and see what you got. You don't want to uh, put Prodigy in a great position early. Punt is away. Looking to put the field a little bit. And from the 23 yard line is where Prodigy will start out on offense. Man, Prodigy, a, a known as a regs goon, but winning that Bills club after that success in that Madden 18 challenge, TD, uh, he said that this was a this was a big win for him. This gave him a lot of confidence. Yeah, and talking to Prodigy last night, you know, it's really been a balance for him all year because we talked to him early in the year, and he said he was focused only on mutt. He didn't even want to play regs anymore, and it, he was successful with that, winning the Bugs, the Bills club championship, and then boom. Last week, he had to play level next. That tournament popped up, and that's on the regs mode. Made a deep run in that, so he had to focus his attention on regs. And then he said, right when that ended, his focus was back on Mutt. So Prodigy's had a big year so far, and he's looking to continue it. TD, is this year, with everybody at home, with the number of tournaments that are available, is this the year that I, it's been sort of the toughest to be a Madden player because you're bouncing between modes so much? Yeah, you know, it's interesting. I, I think that's a great point. You know, we see pretty much... Uh, these online regs tournaments weekly, sometimes even a few times a week. Um, so it's a it's a really a balance. If you want to be a competitive man player, you got to be able to play all the modes. How about the defense stepping up? We talked about how good Ice's defense is in the final 32. Top five. There's LT. No surprise. Lawrence Taylor in the backfield. Lawrence Taylor in the backfield for Ice. And Prodigy, you see him in that Las Vegas Raiders offensive playbook, staying in trips, but he will audible around a lot. And Ice, you see those guys in the D-line, man, coming through right there on that first play. North Carolina Tar Heel, Lawrence Taylor. Come on! Oh! It's over the middle. Oh, boy. Ice is sending the kitchen. It's the sink, the fridge, the stove. It's all in the backfield. Sent the goons off the edge right there, coming free. Prodigy panicked. I don't think he expected the heat. And that was almost a pick six by Sean Taylor to the crib. Prodigy is very fortunate. Trips tight end for Prodigy. 
Got Alvin Kamara in between Randy Moss and Jerry Rice. That's a pretty good company to have out there in trips. Third and 19. Lots of time for Gannon. Come on, fumble like that, there's dude. anywhere to go, and Gannon Keep does pulling. not have the wheels to get away from the defense. Can't move. 104 yards allowed per game. That's in the game of Madden, TD. In the game right, of football. Let's, go. let's get right. That's not a lot. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's not a lot, and Dion's gonna might have a chance at a return here. Nope. But right. yeah, to your point, Ice is kind of known as an offensive player with his gun bunch, but he's really good on defense as well as you saw there. And and so far we got a little stalemate, defensive battle to start this thing out. You know, uh, talking about we're gonna talk about it a lot in the club championships. Preparation key coming into these games, and TD, these two guys lab with some of the best. Oh yeah, they do. You you can look at Ice. Labs with guys in TNC, and we're going to see a lot of TNC guys in this tournament. We're talking about guys like Fancy, Decroft, J Wall, Manu. And then you got Prodigy who labs with NFA, guys like Drini, huh. Ghost, who we'll see in this tournament. And almost pick. another pick. Ooh, come on. Or almost a, wow, almost so an lucky. acrobat pick. Hey, yeah, you talking about Prodigy, Fine. TD. I mean, how about the list Even of players Steven. that he said he labs with? Ghost, Drini, Rage, Clef, Boogs, Trey. Talk about not only success, but diverse in ter terms of play styles. Oh, exactly. And that's what you want when you're looking for a crew. When you're looking to get reps, you want to play uh, a lot of different play styles, and you want to play the best players in the world. Quick throw right side, and that's Randy Moss out of bounds at the 39-yard line. So, so far, it's been the lockdown defense from both players. Is this a trend you're expecting to see over these next couple of weeks of defense being the dominant thing on the field? Yeah, I am, because the way the game has shifted, Everyone has defense now for these meta things. And I want to point out, we just saw Randy Moss on there. I've been waiting all year for Randy Moss to finally get added to Mutt and be on these teams. We finally found him, and here he is. Randy Moss, one of the best Mutt players ever. Come on. Gannon has a Go man open. Uh-oh, that's there, Tony, Tony G. G. Down inside the 20. Red zone offense for Iced Picks up 44 on the play. One of the legends at tight end, Tony Gonzalez. Yeah, Prodigy tried to dial up a blitz. He had all zone coverage behind it. Pretty much everything was open right there. Ice uh, moved to the right a little bit, and he threw the laser wide open on the crossing rope. Hand off up the middle. This time it's the other Sanders. Barry Sanders with the carry, picking up two. And Ty, we saw a lot of Reggie Bush uh, back in when we were doing the club finals. Uh, it seems like the running game has sort of slowed down a little bit here in Madden 21, and the best way to move the ball is a lot of those short table routes, passes, something like that. Yeah, exactly. And, you're, and the other thing, too, is you're going to see a diverse selection of running backs now. We see Barry Sanders here. We're going to see some Arian Foster, some Alvin Kamara's. So Barry Sanders right there on that little 0 one trap. Again, in second and eight. Stepping left, looking left. There's prime time. Fighting for the first down. He's going to be just shy at the seven yard line, third and short. This is where the field tightens up. It gets harder to score. And there, Nick, you saw that playmaker ability. It was a drag to the right. He playmakered him back to left. When you have that ability, the playmaker just goes so fast. So he cut, cut right back to the left, got all that separation because of the speed from primetime Deion Sanders. And that allowed him to get into this manageable third and in inches. What's the cost of the playmaker ability? Three, is it four sure. AP? Three, three or four, I believe. Three or four. Somebody in the chat will. I'm sure screaming. Yes, yeah, someone in the chat will. Give me that. There's a handoff on. to who, someone who has been referred to as the Swiss Army Knife, Marcel Reese, finding his way to the first down. Marcel Reese, man. I remember using him back in Madden 11 with the Raiders. But, yeah, he's got speed. He's got power. He can catch the ball. Like you said, Swiss Army Knife. I mean, he's very versatile all over the field, and you can put him at tight end, really anywhere. First and goal. A little RPO screen action. It will be a handoff to Barry Sanders up the middle, but good defense from Prodigy. Only going to pick up about a yard and a half. Second and goal from the five. Looks like it'll be time to run one more play here in the first quarter. And this is where it gets tough, like you said, Nick, down inside this red zone. The, the field really shrinks, makes it difficult. He's looking for some runs here. Went with a little RPO up the middle. Get out! A little counter out of Come shotgun, on. and Barry Sanders has the edge, and he's into the end zone. The three-time Jets club champion on the board first. Barry, find it, six. 
The Iceman starts this thing off early. You can tell he's been labbing his red zone offense because he's known as a gun bunch player, but he immediately goes to that gun tray, a little RPO power O, cuts it to the outside, and Barry Sanders with too much speed. It all was set up by that 44-yard pass from Gannon to Gonzalez. Now Prodigy going to have to yep, play from behind, yep, face yep, a little adversity yep, as he'll yep, return yep. this to the 15-yard line. Let's take a look at our Snickers touchdown replay. Barry Sanders. Oh, Lions fans miss old number 20 out there. Yeah, they do. Just too much speed to the outside. You see Ice getting fired up, and Ice is a guy that plays with a lot of passion. He'll, he'll get animated if he feels like he needs to, especially for a big play. Well, probably his first drive was absolutely smothered. Ooh, okay, Good okay. Good pork okay. chop. Now, see what he does is on the first play, he'll find your Michael Finley for a first down. What a first quarter. We had some defense. We had some offense. We're not much closer to knowing who's going to win this one. Ice on top, 7-0. Yeah, great first quarter battle, and Ice's man defense is smothering right now. That was a tight window for Prodigy to throw. He went with that slant post combo, one of the best combos to beat man-to-man -man defense in Madden 21. First and 10 for Gannon. What? Look at left side, he's got a man open. There's number 88, Jermichael Finley. Big place to the tight end, the story of this game. And TD, I have been so impressed over these last couple of weeks, ever since that Finley item was released, as to how dynamic he is. Oh, he's so good. That Vanguard ability right there just got wide open towards the man-to-man -man coverage. Ice is playing straight man-to-man -man across the board pretty much every play, as you see a nice little power O there. So that's the thing about Prodigy 2, Nick, is he's very balanced. He's going to mix up his run and pass, and that's why he's had so much success. Eight yards on that little power O. Oh. Seven nothing lead for Ice. A prodigy on the drive already on the opposing 30 yard line. Rice, Kamara, and Moss out to the right side. Now Kamara in motion. Sanders on the left hip of Gannon. He'll begin dropping back to pass. Pressure picked up nicely. Just throws the quick little table route. It's Barry Sanders. Needed two for the first Let's down. He picked up three. You talked about it earlier, those table routes. Primarily what you see now a lot out of the backfield. Just uh, It wasn't real open, but it was open enough. He didn't have hard flats. He had a cloud flats, I believe, out there. So um, just backed off just enough to be able to convert and pick up that first down. Oh, Barry Sanders, big 12 running back, Oklahoma State Cowboy. Well, you wonder what his numbers would look like if he played a longer career. Gannon on first and ten. Stepping right, and he has a man. That's 84. That's Randy Moss inside the five to the three-yard line. Give him 24 yards. One-on-one -on -one with Randy Moss. It usually ends in pain. Yeah, it's tough to guard Randy Moss one-on-one. -on -one. And these motion slants, I mean, they've been so effective in Madden for 10 years, especially when you're playing man-to-man, -man, just motion Randy Moss from that trip set to the left side. He got that little boost, and boom, destroyed that man-to-man -man coverage. A little, little goal line offense from Prodigy. He's going to give it to the fullback, King Henry. And oh, Hello. how many AFC South opponents hate seeing on, that. Henry. Derrick Henry lowers the shoulder and finds his way into the end zone. I like to call him the big dog, Derrick Henry. I mean, there's not a better running back you can plug in there for a fullback dive, yeah, Derrick Henry. He's usually going to fall forward, and that's exactly what Prodigy does. And what a great drive by Prodigy. Not the start that he wanted, but he bounced back, and he's going to tie this ball game up. So Derrick Henry is the Roman Reigns of the NFL? I, I've heard Big Dog is Mercedes Lewis, too, of the Packers, but I, I think it fits Derrick Henry. I feel like if you if you took your hair out of the man bun, you'd look like Roman Reigns. I think, I think you could be the chief. So we look at this one more time. It's Henry. I mean, give him the ball, get out the way. Yeah, that looked like a little uh, Madden 18 action. Was that the air truck here for Derrick Henry? Right there, a little air truck to get into the end zone. That was a big time drive by Michael Scott, AKA Prodigy. I was, I was gonna go Madden, what is it, Madden 16? Rob Gronkowski fullback dive. Oh, geez. Problem, right? Yeah, that was that was a good one too. Get it on first and 10, big shot at the problem. I know he's watching out there, the GOAT. 
Good defense. All right, TD. Do you feel like anybody right now has an advantage, or is this one still an absolute coin flip? Oh, still an absolute coin flip. You see Ice in that gun bunch. I believe he loves this gun bunch. He told me because of that clear out play. So it has a, uh, it has two good plays in here. But that clear out play, it has a, the slot receiver is on a stock fade, and you can't put those fades as a hot route anymore in Madden 21. You can create a lot of things. You can beat cover three with that deep down the field. He mixes up his plays well. Looks like a little zig route on the right side, and that's that out of position. Deion Sanders. It feels rude to say out of position because I feel like Dion could literally play just about any position on the field. Oh, absolute stud, man. He did it all. I mean, he was playing baseball. He did it, he did it all. But, yeah, I think, honestly, Nick, that, that primetime out of position receiver, Sanders, is going to be, like, the biggest card of this tournament, uh, at least for the first two weeks because it's on everyone's team and he can do so many things. Now, there's another one. People have been begging all year. I, I see it on Twitter. Everyone going, please. Give me Randy Moss. Well, they got Randy Moss, and he's, no surprise, pretty good. Listen, if you play Madden Ultimate Team any year, you got to have Randy Moss on your squad. Two-minute warning, game one. Got a full day of action. We're so happy to have you along with us. Nick Mazesco, Tyler Davis with you. Seven all. Gannon stepping right. And he'll throw this one away. Nowhere to go. Good defense downfield by Prodigy. I like the route combo. Just phenomenal man-to-man -man defense by Prodigy. He motioned over that crosser. He had a drag underneath. Kind of a flood concept to the sidelines, but Prodigy was all over it. Quick throw to the well, flat route to Randy Moss, and I think he's going to actually lose a yard on that play. i will say half yard, third and eight, and... You see the chess match starting to develop between these two players. Great point. Yeah, I was going to say because uh, Ice starting to recognize now what Prodigy's doing. Prodigy mixed it up there. He's been running a lot of different coverages. He went from man to zone right there. Ice recognized it, went to that little quick flat out of the backfield to the strong side, but couldn't get those feet down and unfortunate play. Screamer off the edge. Quick throw to Jackson. Decision time now for Ice. Fourth and two. I don't think this is even a thought. The offense is going to come back out on the field. Not a question. Got to go for this. Ice has too much confidence in his offense. Fourth and two. Starting to get to that halftime point. Ice is definitely going to go for this. Look for that same row combo. Maybe a corner row with a flat underneath it. Might use a little motion as well. Let's see what Prodigy dials up. Cannon in the shotgun. Bunch to the short side. Sanders alone on the right side, and he'll snap it. Gannon on fourth and two, stepping left. He might take the shot. Nope, he's going to scramble with Gannon, and he might not be the fastest, but he's the most effective. He'll pick up the first down to keep the drive alive. Great pocket presence by Ice. Rich Gannon, not the most mobile, doesn't have the escape artist ability, but he's able to pick up those two yards just barely. That's all that matters. Great defense by Prodigy, but better offense by Ice. First down at 10. Oh my God. A little, little, little curl route. That's the TNC special. That smart routed curl route for a first down. Those low ball curls, just so difficult to defend. And I mean, you can't play better defense than that. Prodigy was all over it. I think Ice thought that might have been zone defense. So Prodigy went straight man, mixed it up well. Kind of a 50-50 ball, but Ice comes away with it. Right side, that's Sanders. To the 36 yard line, he'll pick up three. Look, I, I, I'm impressed, TD, how quickly ice works. Oh, yeah, he, he knows what he's doing, man. He's calculated. He's so confident in his abilities. He's been like that ever since, I, since I've seen him come on the scene. And right side, and that's a catch. Big number 88, Tony G to the 16 yard line and quickly back to work. Bunch to the right side. And now he's gonna flip it, he's gonna put the bunch to the left side. Sanders, the lone receiver on the right side. Other Sanders, Barry Sanders in the backfield on the right hip of Rich Gannett. First and 10. 
And he might have him. He's got a man Andy open. Reed. Gonzalez feed him. Bounds and a touchdown for the three-time Jets Club champion. Ice takes the lead with very little time left in the first half. What a route combo. What a laser by Ice. Crossing route from the tight end, back of the end zone, wide open, big time drive. Big time players make big time drives. On, and let's hit stick, Bo Jackson. Boy, was that one an absolute surgical drive. Let's take a look at that touchdown one more time. Just simple, a little tight end crossing route. Yeah, that was a nice route combo. He had backside, he had the corner route flat, and then that crossing route just going to the pylon. Boom, Ice takes the lead. Nick, I'm impressed by both these guys. This is a real chess match going on. These guys are locked in. This is high level uh, Madden football right now. First and 10. Gannon rolling left and he'll scramble. Pick up four yards, a little bit of time comes off the clock. One timeout left, TD, plenty of time to at least get in the field goal range. Yeah, it is tough though. 26 seconds, one timeout. You got to get out of bounds. You, you can't take a sack. You can't stay in bounds really here with that runoff. Blitz picked up nicely. <gasps> He'll look right side. He's got Sanders. Ooh, it's a dangerous throw. Fire, Taylor prodigy, Lurkin, fire. Prodigy, will have to use his that final timeout. Oh, that was close. That was great because Prodigy was waiting, waiting for Ice to leave that angle route. And Ice kind of baited him for a second, but stayed on that angle route the whole time and almost was a pick. That was really good stick work by Ice. Prodigy's fifth EA major appearance in that top five at the challenge. Gannon rolls right. He'll throw this one away. He's actually had two top fives at the challenge. Madden 19 challenge, he plays fifth. Madden 18 challenge, he plays third. He seems to thrive on that draft champs mode. Yeah, and that just shows you because to me, draft champs is kind of like regs, you know. Um, and he hasn't had the success he wanted in Mutt until this year. But now he's really shown that he's a versatile player and he can play any mode and be successful. Second and 10. Come on. 11 seconds, bag, 10 bag, seconds. Bag. Come on, man. Wow, throw out a sack. He's lucky that didn't end up in the defender's hands. At this point, if you're Prodigy, I'd probably run an inside zone here, try to break something off. If not, just go to the half. You don't want to make any mistakes in this type of situation. Ice with two timeouts could force the issue if something happens here. And only eight seconds left in the first half. What a ball game we've had so far. Third and 10, no inside zone. Three seconds, two seconds. He'll slide down, and we will hit the second half. And you see the reaction from Ice, TD. You know, Ice has never had a shortage of confidence, but right now he feels like he's in firm control, even with Prodigy getting the ball to start the second half. He feels great, and uh, every reason he should, because this is a great ball game so far. Both guys have played well. Yep, yep, Ice played yep. a little bit better, and he has the advantage going into halftime. What a ball game. We have so far, it is the Jets club champion with a slim one score lead, 14 to seven. Prodigy though, with the ball to start the second half. It is halftime, so let's check in with Katie Emmer, who I believe is somewhere in the woods in the tundra known as Minnesota. And that is me being a little cocky because I moved to Arizona in 60 degrees outside. <laughs> I get it, Nick. I get it. it. It is pretty cold, but you know what? I'm cozy. We got some good entertainment so far. A reminder that there's more AFC East Divisional action coming up next as Patriots Club champion Noah up next takes on Dapoy, who shocked many in an upset victory over Blocky to become the Dolphins Club champion. We got a chance to learn a little bit more about the 19-year-old Florida native in the Gillette Every Day is Game Day Player Series. Take a listen. Uh, I, I'm a, yeah, I'm a trash talker. Yeah, I, I talk trash. I talk trash. I made a lot of uh, fans and friends off that block game. A lot of enemies too, but you know, I, I'm going to show. I don't have those top, you know, Madden players, you know, on my friend list or anything like that, that are like, yo, can we lab up? And I just have myself. I'm one of the best players in the game. And you don't see me running the exact same setups as everybody else. And people, for some reason, don't like 
when you're unique. You can watch film on me, but you really don't know what's going to happen until you're on the field. You know what I'm saying? Until you're playing me. Because I can switch up things in a heartbeat. A lot of people are sleeping on me. You know, I hope they continue to sleep up until I get first place. The underdog story pushes you more than anything. I'm not here for, you know, $15,000. I'm, I'm here for the 150. I, I feel like I can taste it. It's right there. Every day is game day to me means pretty much, you know, trying to get better every day. Looking forward to that matchup next. And in case you didn't know, January is packed with competitive gaming drama. The FIFA 21 Global Series continues with the second Europe regional qualifier live on the EA Sports FIFA Twitch and FIFA Esports YouTube channels. Another weekend, another token event. Make sure you link your EA and Twitch accounts and watch at least 60 minutes of the action throughout the weekend to earn the token. For more information, visit FUTChampions.com. Back to you, Nick out in the desert and TD. Have a great call in the rest of this game. Thank you so much, Katie. Let's get this one back underway. Prodigy with the ball first. TD, if you're Prodigy, how are you feeling coming out at halftime? Do you still feel like you have a good shot in this game? Yeah, definitely. He still feels fine getting the ball here. He hasn't played a bad game by any means. Just Ice has just played a little bit better. That's all it is. And he's getting the ball to start the second half. You got to go down, though, on this drive, tie this thing up. 14-7. Good throw right side. It's a $7,500 game of men, by the way. Uh, Tyler, I can safely say I have never played for $75, let alone $7,500. <laughs> It's a lot of chunk of chains to be playing some John Madden football. You see Ice here shifting that line to left. He's really bringing the heat off that left side goes coverage here, but it's making it difficult for Prodigy to pick that up without a running back or a tight end on that side. Let's bring in our third man, our very own Booger McFarlane. User, what a first half we had here between Ice and Prodigy. What did you see? Stop throwing those bows out there. You got to be careful with those. Out the way, out the way, Nick. Come on. Talk about Booker Come McFarlane. on, Prodigy. Ever disrespect. Look, man, these guys are putting on a great matchup. They're showing great date, great defense. I see, I see my guy Ice making great adjustments. If he would have had Acrobat on his user, that would have been a pick right before half what TD was talking about where he baited him on the running back angle. Both of these guys are playing great defense. As you see, it's a fourth and two right here. Is Ice going to lock up and get off the field? He had great clock management before the half. Made, made sure that he went in by seven. He needs this stop right here to put Prodigy in a tough spot. We'll see. But anyway, that's a dot by my guy Prodigy. Nick and T.Y. Tank Top Twins. I'll holler at you guys later. The man, the myth, the legend himself. Did he call you T.Y.? Are you T.Y. Hill? T.Y. Bro, I know he's sick that you called him Booger McFarlane, though. I know he's sick about that. <laughs> We'd love to hear from user. Always provides great insight. Did a great job in that level next tournament. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely fantastic. Gannon rolling right. I'm here. And he'll throw this one away. Boy, the defenses in this game. They are for sure the story of this one. It is not easy moving the ball. Not at all. You see that man defense from Ice. He hasn't gone away from it. He's got three one-step aheads on his defensive backs. He also has three acrobats back there, and that's what you see, man. This That man-to-man -man defense has been phenomenal for Ice so far. Second down to 10, going to the I form. Two wide receivers. There's a little RPO action. Barry Sanders rolling over a tackler, picking up six to the 35, third and four. Nice job to get this to a third manager. I like that by Prodigy. That's more of his game plan, too. You know, he's a balanced player. Audible down a little bit. He hasn't done that enough. He's gotten a little pass heavy in this trips. Every time he's audible down to a dive or a little RPO, he's had some success on the ground. So third and four, this is a passing situation. But if he converts, I want to see him go back more to a balanced approach. Gannon. Come on, down, get diving it. play. Oh, oh, almost picked he off. I think that was LT maybe coming drive. back. Come on. To make a play. How about the ball physics there? That one popped straight up in the air. Oh, that was scary. Such a tight window. I thought if he would have low passed it with the possession catch, you could get that. I don't know if he pressed the wrong button or what, but Ice was able to get in there, bat that thing up, and oh, that got scary. Now, this is the play of the game right now for Prodigy. He's got to convert. 
Fourth down and four, trips tight end. It's Gannon. No. Uh, Waiting, looking, he's got it. Just very simple mm -hmm. offense, TD. Two slant routes, pick which one you're gonna guard. That was an absolute laser. I love the route combo, the slant, the halfback angle. He had a deep post behind it. All routes that will beat, man. Ice, uh, he bit on the wrong route and that angle route got wide open. Big time conversion for Prodigy when he needed it badly. Alvin Kamara motions over to the right side. Oh, Gannon in trouble, quick throw. I think that's the biggest adjustment so far, TD, has been Prodigy adjusting to the pressure. He's been able to pick it up a couple times, and even when it gets home, he's getting the ball out of his quarterback's hands quickly. Definitely, and that, that table route has kind of been his bailout. He's hit that a few times to the sidelines, picking up some nice chunks. Audible and down here to the run. This is what I want to see, this is what I love, staying balanced. Oh, he's going with the little pass Come out on. of it. Uh-oh, and guess what? Ice says that that looked cute, but Landon Collins is going to create some problems, giving back everything he got on first down. I don't think Ice even expected that, but that was just kind of a, I think Prodigy was trying to catch him off guard, but Ice was ready for it, pressure off the edge, and that's a big-time sack. Third and ten. Again, rolling right. Come on! And Throws it out of bounds late. Illegal forward pass. Back him up five from the spot. Fourth and 14. And probably going to have to pump this one away. But you, you're never going to see Prodigy sweat. He's not. He's a very even keeled Madden player. Yeah, these, these guys kind of have a, a clash of personalities, right? You know, Ice is very animated, gets fired up, passionate. Prodigy, like you said, stays even keel. He doesn't let the emotions get to him. And that was some great defense by Ice right there. You can tell he's making it a little bit uncomfortable for Prodigy. And now Ice gets the ball back. This could be the put away drive. If he can go down, use some clock, and get some points. Ice has won every single first round game in the final 32 that he is qualified for. I'm going to keep that streak alive. He says he wants to do. Well, I, I, I'm, I'm curious, TD. What, what's Ice listening to? Because I, I, for some reason, I have him, I'm picturing that he's got like heavy metal going uh, in, in those headphones. Yeah, I'm not too sure. You know, we talked to some of the guys last night about their playlist. I saw a lot of 50 Cent in the guys' playlist. I believe Ice said he was game sound. A lot of the guys were just going straight game sound so they could focus. You know, but we talked to Ice last night and I kind of asked him, you know, this is your fourth time now or third time in the club championship. Do you feel that that experience kind of benefits you now that you've been here? He says, yeah, it, cal it calms the nerves a little bit, but he said that Prodigy also has a lot of experience in big tournament games, so he said he didn't feel like he had the advantage in that regard. Third and 10. Does not have to snap this ball if he doesn't want to. He can't let this run all the way down to the fourth quarter. But he's gonna snap with seven seconds on the clock. Quick throw to the flat. It's caught Jackson yep, got him, got to the 37-yard line. line. We'll go to the fourth quarter. Four's up in the chat. Mm -hmm. Ice picks up a monstrous first down. Ice is absolutely dialed in. Every time Prodigy sends some heat, Ice has the answer for it, whether it's a flat, a drag. But the, the, the blitzing from Prodigy has not been successful. Ice is definitely ready for it. We'll have to find a way to get a stop if he wants to stay in this game. Gannon, first and 10. And he's in trouble, and down goes Gannon. Hassan Reddick in the backfield. Big play to start the drive off for Prodigy's hopes at tying this game up. He needed that sack for his confidence, for the spot in the game. And every time he goes to that coverage defense, he's looked a little bit better. I want to see him stick to that maybe. Now Ice trying to dial it up. Prodigy's got to get a stop on this drive. Come on. He's got a man, and who else? 88, Tony G. He's been the big player all game long. Ice in the field goal range, and he can feel that that win is right around the corner. That was a huge dot from Ice because now he can take about two and a half or so minutes off the clock. He can get to the two minute warning and potentially be up two possessions here as long as he doesn't make a mistake. So that was a huge conversion for Ice. And he has a good chance to move on now. If you're Prodigy, you've got to get a stop on these next set of downs to get off the field and get back on offense. Get out of there. Get out Stretch of there, run. 
Sanders avoids the initial Kick. rush. Can't avoid everyone, though. The pick up a yard, second and nine. TD, this has got to be a dire situation. If you're a prodigy, are you playing with aggressive tackle and aggressive strip ball on yet? No, I don't think you're ever doing that. It doesn't really work too effective unless it's like, unless that's kind of your last hope with five seconds left. Yeah, what if you want to but face I think if you're that? I mean, if, if that's your strategy, just to let them score, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> There's nowhere to go. Out, you saw right out. there, he so ran commit. That was a, a, a risky run commit right there for Prodigy, but it paid mm -hmm. off. I like it. He's taking some chances now, and that's what he kind of has to do. He's got to bring some heat. He's got to take those chances. I, I wouldn't be surprised if Aisha sticks to the ground game here. Use this clock, take your three, and go up two possessions. Third down to 10. It's a little RPO. Action, he'll hand ah. it to Sanders right up the middle. Woo. He'll get to the 26, but more mm -hmm. importantly, mm -hmm. Ice is going to get a kick up field goal to make this a two score game. Let's bang this and through the, and the New York stupid. Jets. I know, I know my guy Rico Williams at home would be unhappy for me to bring this up. It was a rough year for the Jets, okay? It was even more rough for my Browns who lost to the Jets, but I, I mean, I. Ice has been here three times. He loves representing this team. And if he's able to pull this one out, he'll have exactly half as many wins as the Jets had all year long. <laughs> and there might be big things on the rise. If Ice can win this, he's the Jets champion. And then you got, well, he's already the Jets champion, but he can make a run. Then you got Robert Sala as the new head coach. A lot of people are high on him. So they got Michael LaFleur as the offensive coordinator. Big things right here going for the Jets. Will Justin Fields be the quarterback for the Jets next year? Yeah, that's, Since the, the mock that's the million dollar question. I've seen mock drafts. He's fallen to four in a lot of drafts. Again, at first and ten. Come on. All right, all right. That's matchup. What that's matchup. Catch. Keep throwing that. Keep what throwing that. What a catch. Here. I guess Jermichael Finley pulling that one down. And Prodigy's going to need a couple plays like that in order to have a chance. He's done still have three timeouts. I think he should try to uh, get in the field goal range. Probably kick that field goal as soon as possible here. That's fine. Ooh. That is fine. Take that clock. Finley inbounds. That'll take this down to the two-minute warning. I do like Prodigy's strategy, though, on that last defensive drive. He didn't use any of his timeouts. If he can score quickly, he has the opportunity to get the ball back. Exactly. Still plenty of time here. As long as he saves those timeouts and he can get some points as soon as possible. In on first and ten. Find Sanders. Goes out of bounds. Two top, two top fives in the Madden Challenge for Prodigy. His first club championship. As the Bills Club champion took down Stevie J in that fantastic Bills Club final in what was, I think, 342 years ago at this point. Scandal will go out of bounds the 44-yard line, and they will give him the first down. That was good stick work by Prodigy. Great pocket. Wasted a little bit too much time. That 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 clock is starting to get become an issue. So within these next two plays, he's got to get into field goal range. Ooh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Finley can't make the catch. Boy, I seems like somebody, TD, who I would not want to face off in any money game because he's not only going to talk, he's confident. He knows what he wants to do on every single play. Yeah, you can see it. He just oozes confidence. Like I said, ever since he stepped onto the scene, he's always believed in his abilities. Pick! No! You blind who? I was trying to pick out if that was like Morse code, if he was like trying to trying to play some sort of song on his leg. <laughs> Third and ten. Gannon. Left side, that's Sanders inside the 20. He'll step out of bounds at the 16-yard line. Nice play to get a chunk of yards. Do you kick your three here, TD? Yeah, this gets interesting now because I would have said if he was way back there at the 35 or so, you take your points 
But now that he's so close to the end zone, you might take a shot or two to the end zone here. And especially the way he's been using that Finley with those high point passes. I think you take one or two shots without using any timeouts. And then if not, then you take your three. Tight end. Running back is not catching this ball. Gannon. Gonna take his shot. Come on. Uh oh. Oh, he almost took a sack, and that could have been disastrous. Used a lot of time there. Minute 25 left. That would have been the worst thing that Prodigy could do. Great defense by Ice. You heard him. I got to watch the running back, and he watched that running back the whole way through on that angle route. I think Prodigy's got to maybe take a shot to the end zone here, but you can't turn the ball over. And on second and 10, over the middle, he's got right, Sanders, but he's tackled in bounds. Oh, seven, no. Seven. Clock's going to keep running. Four First seven, and goal six, from the six, three six, for Prodigy. Gets real interesting now. The clock is moving, and he's coming out in goal line. He's going to waste a lot of time here if he doesn't score. Oh, let's go. Oh, he let's overthrew go. it for the high pass and overthrew him. It was an open mm -hmm. touchdown. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh my goodness. Seconds. What a play call by Prodigy, and it doesn't pay off. You cannot get any more open than that. I, oh, my goodness. Pick it! Come on! And that one, that could have ended like the game. Went one. from a touchdown to a pick, and now it's third down. Oh, what an insane ending right here. <laughs> Prodigy is so close so many times now, but at, at some point, you need points. The clock is really starting to windle down here. I, oh, oh, man. I think you got to score on this play, or if not, take your three. I don't think you go for it on fourth down. So close, though. Under a minute to go. Gannon, third and goal. Stepping up, might have a diving catch. Let's Rice go. dropped it, incomplete. Eight more seconds go off the clock. Fourth and goal, Why and is Prodigy three, isn't man? even going to come up with seven. He's going to kick his three. Watch the fake, watch the fake. So, two pepper. such unfortunate yeah, breaks for Prodigy. He had two touchdowns, and after all that, when he was so I close, he wasted about a minute and a half, and yes. he's going to settle for three with only 50 seconds left. Mm -hmm. That is such an unfortunate uh, circumstances for Prodigy and for Ice. Very fortunate, but the game is still not okay, over after he kicks this field goal. Ball is down. Kick is up. It is good. Let's get this on 17 side, baby. 17 to 10. There's no way he can Best see. case scenario, TD, if he's able to stop ice on three plays, how much time is he looking at with no timeouts to get down the field and score a touch? He's going onside kick. Interesting. And that that might seal the ball. The onside kick there, TD. An interesting call with three timeouts in your pocket. Very interesting. I got to say, I don't agree with it. You had those three timeouts. You saved them. So you could kick the ball off because now Ice needs what four to five yards, max, to 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 kick a field goal here and really ice this game. <laughs> no pun intended, but hey. Prodigy real <laughs> Prodigy. I don't agree with it. He saved those timeouts for a reason. You got to kick the ball off there and use them. I, I mean, I kind of get as he'll take his first time out. I kind of get the onside kick if he had gotten seven on that drive because a field goal still keeps it at a score. But when you only got a yep. a field goal. Even best case scenario here, if he stops him three times and he doesn't kick a field goal, he's going to be pinned back at his own two-yard line. Exactly, exactly. And he should have just used those timeouts earlier if he's going to, if he was going to uh, onside kick. That was quite the run commit there, by the way. If he had thrown the RPO, there was Dude, nobody I don't know over if I can there. Kick this. It's a 58-yard field goal from where Ice is right now. Yeah, I wonder if Ice maybe takes a chance and passes here to catch him in a run commit, or is he gonna go conservative and just try to get two yards for a field goal? It's another run commit. He's gonna pick up. He's actually gonna lose a yard. It's a 60 yard, it's a 59 yard field goal from where he is. And Ice, no decision here. He's just gonna bring out Shane Leckler and pump this one away and try to pin him deep. Yeah. So, so Prodigy's decision paid off, sort of because he was able to hold him, but now, like you said, he's gonna really be pinned. What a punt by Ice inside the 10, and now Prodigy has to go 80 or 91 yards here with 30 seconds and no timeouts. This is almost a 1% chance. If Prodigy can pull this out, it would be a miracle.
Well, does he have a miracle in him? Looking for Gannon to make a big play. Looking for some, any sort of route bounce. Look at the man coverage downfield, TD. That took nine seconds, picked up nothing because there was absolutely no one to throw to. Yeah, excellent man coverage. Great user too. You know the Prodigy wants to hit that deep post. Ice was all over it with his user. Throw left side, but incomplete. Third and 10, and now only 18 seconds left. Watch Moss, watch Moss. Gannon. There it right. is! Let's Looking go! Right. And LeJerry is Stop sneaked, on me. has sealed ice. $7,500 and a spot in the final 16. What a performance from the Jim Thorpe, Pennsylvania native. Your three-time Jets Club champion is on to the next round. 15K. What Job's a game, what a battle. And the Iceman, a.k.a. George Keep Schwartz, a.k.a. Please. don't care about ice. It was the defense down the stretch, and he's headed to the AFC East Finals. Again.